Hey there. So it's been a while since I've done a video. Thought it was time to uh, to do one. And while I was walking the dog, I was thinking about what might be a good topic. And so I picked a geeky one for this week. And it's something that I've always thought was pretty cool. Uh, we're going to talk about MacSec uh, today. MacSec, Media Access Control Security. Because it's, it's a neat concept if you've never really thought about it. And uh, it's just something that I, I think is, is worth talking about. And uh, hopefully I do this topic justice. I'm sure I will maybe not be as clear on some things as I could be. Uh, so if you are more familiar uh, and can provide more clarification, by all means, you know, make a comment. Um, it's totally cool. Um, more information is always better. So let's talk about MacSec. Um, what MacSec does for you is it basically adds encryption at layer two of a wired ethernet network. Now in the network model, the OSI network model, you tend to think of encryption occurring, you know, at some of the higher levels. So for example, at, uh, at layer three, you have IP and at layer four, you have TCP and UDP. And in those cases, you've got packets at layer three and segments or datagrams at layer four. And you know, they're, they might be encrypted, but down at the lower levels at layer two, where we're talking about frames, um, those are not encrypted. So think about a network where you've got, uh, you know, a bunch of endpoints and they're, it's wired ethernet. So they're going to be wired to a switch, um, switches, layer two devices, making their decisions based on Mac address. When the frame goes from the endpoints say your PC to the switch, that connection is not encrypted. When it moves from the switch to say another device, again, at layer two, the frame not encrypted. So if uh, someone was enterprising, they could install a tap, say uh, along the way somewhere and start collecting those frames. And once they do that, it's, they're basically wiretapping the connection. They're seeing all the frames that are going by. Now, like I said, um, there could be encryption happening at higher levels of the OSI model, but at layer two, where we're talking, uh, at the, uh, at the data link layer, um, we're talking about frames and they are not encrypted. So MacSec gives you that encryption. We're now adding encryption at layer two of this wired ethernet network. And when we do that, we solve all kinds of security problems, right? There can no longer be wiretapping. You can't be subject to man in the middle attacks. Um, there's no chance of a replay attack because the information is moving encrypted. Um, you know, it's pretty neat because it's it's something cool that that uh, that you can do on a network. Now, when I say you can do this on a network, I mean, you know, uh, big big networks like uh, big industrial switches like Cisco switches, uh, Juniper switches. You know, they're going to be supporting MacSec between devices. Your home computer and your home router and your sorry, your home router switch or multifunction device. They're not going to be doing that. This is something that really only larger organizations are going to employ because they're on, these features are only in these uh, these higher end bits of bits of gear. But it is it is interesting to do, and like I said, it solves a lot of security problems. And you know, just like you'd expect, um, it's uh, it sets up this encryption using an exchange of keys, and once you've exchanged keys and you've got this secure tunnel, uh, basically devices are adding uh, an extra header and tail onto the ethernet frames. Um, the header is called a security tag and the tail is just an integrity check value. And the packet of course has to know where it's going. So the sender, you know, adds this, these tags to the frame. The frame goes to wherever it's going. When it's on the receiving end, the receiver looks at that security tag and the integrity check. And as long as they pass, the, you know, the frame can be decrypted and communication is cool. If it's been tampered with or doesn't add up properly or, or there's a problem, it drops it. No communication occurs. There you go. So, uh, so yeah, encryption at layer two, it's, it's a neat concept. Um, when you're thinking about stuff, because you usually think about encryption, like I said, at the higher levels of the model, not down at layer two. So, uh, so yeah. So hopefully uh, that was interesting to you. I don't know if I've explained that very clearly. Like I said, maybe maybe somebody has a better explanation and, and can put it in the comments, but it's something that I've always thought was pretty cool and pretty interesting. So I wanted to do a video on it. And now I have <laughs> already. You have yourself a great weekend. Bye-bye.